Uh, and now we actually want to get to just be going straight down slowly, though. All right, come on. We'll be going straight down towards the moon. And then when we are going straight down, uh, we will do that. And now, as you can see, we are descending straight towards the moon. That's our other part of the ship. Now, what we're going to have to do is, uh, ooh, let's see here. Um, yeah, that should be fine. We just, we won't have to activate any of that stuff. Now we can just time warp. Actually, first, we should make sure that we switch to the other ship. Oh, they're too far away. Um, let's just make sure that these guys are, uh, still on a good orbit. Yep. Terrific. Nothing we did affected them at all. So we can leave them there until Billy Bobley's mission is complete. And he's smiling for the first time. Billy Bobley is happy because he is on course to intersect the moon. You might as well put down the landing legs right away. There's no point in waiting for that. So I can explain now what's going to happen. We're going to use this engine here to slow ourselves down, hopefully land on these landing legs. He can get out, explore the moon, uh, then we will dump any fuel we have from these tanks into our bigger tank here, drop these tanks, and this will ideally return back to Kerbin. Uh, and if it does not we have, uh, will hopefully at least be in orbit of Kerbin, and we can do a rescue mission. Um, so, as long as we get the landing, and then we can escape the moon's gravity, uh, with our return mission, we should be fine. We've got these fuel lines here that carry fuel from these into the middle here. Um, and then we can extend these ladders once we land, and hopefully everything will go well. Originally, this ship was designed uh, where the whole thing would come back to Kerbin, which is why there's parachutes on there, but then I decided I might as well add a uh, decoupler just... Uh, because this may be too much weight to get all of it back. So we're descending slowly. I'll warp time some more. And we'll go to our map just so we know how close we are. And we're going to be picking up speed. Uh, hopefully not too much. All right, our altitude is dropping now, and uh, we are going to land near the equator, which is good. That's what we wanted. Um, all right, speed is picking up a lot. Our altitude is dropping quickly. That's what we want. We're going to wait till we get down close to start doing any sort of burn to slow ourselves down. Uh, just because that's going to be the most fuel efficient, and we do have to worry about that if we're going to want to bring this guy back. Uh, so, here we go. We are getting closer to the moon. And. Billy Bobbly has a very focused look on his face. He's preparing himself mentally for what he must do. 
and he is hurtling directly towards the moon at nearly 350 meters per second. And now we gotta get down lower. And he's going pretty quick. All right. Now we have to be hyper focused. This is the most dangerous part of any mission any of the Kerbals have ever done. The actual landing of the first moon landing in Kerbal Space Program history. Here we go. Ah. Uh. Now we just gotta hope nothing goes wrong at this point either, because that's that's a possibility, and we can't afford anything to go wrong right now. All right, so we gotta make sure we're lined up exactly where we want to be. All right, now we can start doing a slow burn to. Well, we won't we won't start burning yet. We'll get lower and then we will uh do a burn around probably 40,000, I'd say, meters. We'll have to do a burn. We've got plenty of fuel right now. So, okay. Billy Bobbly, get ready. You are about to make history. Uh, either way, you will be the first to set foot on the moon, or, uh, well, a not-so-good first, being the first to die horribly in a Kerbal Space Program mission. Alright, Billy is focused, I am focused, the ship is pointed exactly where we need it, there is Kerbin over there. And here we go. Got to bring this thing down slowly. Let's start doing a burn now. We want to slow our speed of descent down to around 10 meters per second, probably. All right. Slowing down pretty quickly. So that's good. I'm worried about how much fuel we're using. Um, but that's okay. It's necessary. Alright, let's stop doing our burn for a little bit. Adjust tiniest bit. There we go. Okay, we are down to around 26,000 meters. Start slowing ourselves down some more here. Still going around 200 meters per second. But slowing down nicely. All right. Now let's get down to around 15,000 meters. Uh, the numbers I'm choosing, again, are just uh, assumptions and guesses, more or less. But that's okay. Uh, so far, they've worked. But this is the mission I'm most nervous about. Uh, Moon landings can be dangerous, very dangerous, when you don't know what you're doing, really. And that's what's going on right now. So, I've got a decent idea of what we're doing. Billy Bobbly is very focused. Okay. And we're down to 10,000 meters. 
slow down a lot. Alright, we are drifting a little bit off of our exact center position. Uh, it looks like that at least. And we don't want to come in at too steep of an angle, because if we do, we're going to be in trouble. Uh, he may survive, but we may not be able to do a return mission if this thing tips over when it lands. So, 5,000 meters, going 100 meters per second. Let's slow way down now. All right, uh, still got a decent amount of fuel. I guess I really have no choice. I can't worry too much about the fuel. And Billy Bobbly is smiling, which is good. Uh, good for him. I don't know why he's choosing to smile now. This is the most dangerous part of the mission. All right, now it's time to really start slowing down. So let's get down to right there around 10 meters per second. If we can, let's adjust. All right. Now, okay. It's very tense down below 3,000 meters. And that's 3,000 meters above sea level. We could be at a higher altitude when we land. So we have to be very careful. We can't just afford to use the altitude meter. It's basically useless to us now. We have to observe the terrain and uh, use that to judge where we're going to land. All right. Now, let's see. Looks like we are coming pretty close to the ground. Unfortunately, again, coming in at an angle. But what are you going to do, really? All right, I am not talking a lot right now because I'm hyper-focused on not killing Billy Bobbly. All right, we're getting close now, Billy Bobbly. Prepare for touchdown. Come on. Yes! Yes! Woo! All right, we did it. We did it, Billy Bobbly. There's a smile. Billy Bobbly is happy, happy as can be. Let's extend these ladders. Oh, look at him smile. And there is Kerbin. That is what Kerbin looks like from the moon. We have put a Kerbal on the moon. We have done it. All right. Now, let's open up the crew hatch, and let's hop down. All right, he's got the ladder, and he can climb safely down to the lunar surface. Here we go. This is one small step for a Kerbal, but one giant leap for Kerbal Kind. There he is. He is on the moon. Look at him run and jump. Woo! Low gravity. Ah, oh, what a beautiful sight. Billy Bobbly standing on the moon with his shuttle behind him and Kerbin in the background. That is one of the most beautiful sights we have seen this entire series, I believe. Uh, could not be happier. Strike a pose, Billy. You did it. You have made history. Whew. That is amazing. Now, 
He stares out at a vast, unexplored wasteland that is the moonar surface. Uh, as far as I know, there is nothing here, but we will explore that. We are definitely going to be doing some exploring before we even attempt to uh, do any sort of return mission, which hopefully we'll be able to do. Right, Billy? But right now, you take time to enjoy being on the moon. We'll zoom out and just take a look at the surrounding area. Whoop. And we'll take a look for anything interesting. Uh, I'm not seeing a whole lot out of the ordinary, but we're definitely going to be exploring the moon. I mean, you have to when you make it here. You can't just make it here, then leave. Uh, he'll take some samples of the rocks and whatnot. And then we can hopefully bring Billy Bobbly safely home. But we've got a couple other Kerbals right now who we have to bring safely home. So let's take a look. Where are those guys? There they are. All right. Now back to the other part of the mission. Bringing Irvin and Harori safely back to Kerbin. Now, let's take a look. We should have just enough fuel to do this. We're going to burn in reverse, getting a nice uh, intersection with Kerbin there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Well, oh, didn't turn on my SAS. Sorry about that. So we're just spinning a little bit right now. All right. Okay. Now. Oh, we're still spinning. My SAS wasn't doing a whole lot, so I turned it off there, hoping that we could just burn a little bit and have enough... Uh, to get down there, but we need to burn a tiny bit more. There. Now, we can warp time until we get over there, which is taking quite a long time. Oh, we have to go this way yet. I thought we were going the other way for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, Anyway, let's get over to Kerbin now. All right, we're almost there. Uh, they can see the home planet, and they are lined up where they should uh, be able to come in for a nice, smooth landing. Um still got plenty of fuel and we're just gonna hope that the capsule parachutes work we've got three of them and obviously you always hope that they work alright let's turn this ship around Irvin and Harori were able to safely uh, deliver Billy Bobbly to the moon and then they will return back to Kerbin then and be prepared for possible future missions. Alright, now let's speed up time some more here so that they can get down quicker. And once they are ready to hit the atmosphere there we go, down to one time warped there. And they're entering the atmosphere now. So we might as well start trying to slow them down. We'll use up the rest of this fuel doing that. Because we have no other use for it. And then we will deploy the chutes and bring them in for what will hopefully be a safe ocean landing. 
Now the chutes are up on the main capsule, so you just gotta hope that they rip away the other thing. I didn't have a, I don't have a decoupler on there. I figure it should be all right. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. Uh, I hope. Irvin and Harori <laughs> seem to disagree. They are freaking out and bouncing around, and they think it's gonna be a big problem. I don't. I'm an optimist. Um. All right. Now, let's see here. Slowing down very nicely and still have plenty of altitude. And the guys are still freaking out. They probably won't smile until they reach the surface safely. Uh, guys, does it help you to know Billy Bobbly was successful in landing on the moon? No? You're still gonna freak out? Alright, well, I suppose that is your right as you're hurtling towards Kerbin. Uh, not knowing a hundred percent for sure whether or not you're gonna survive uh, you can freak out a little bit but I'm fairly confident you'll survive um, and now we're slowing down a lot so this shouldn't be a huge problem you're down to about a hundred and fifty meters per second and you're dropping straight down basically and you're at about 3,000 meters and the chutes haven't fully deployed yet so you're gonna make hopefully a nice splashdown once they fully deploy that should rip off the other part of the ship let's hope fingers crossed as the chutes will deploy right about now there we go see perfect just like we planned we didn't need that ship anyway. And uh, <laughs> you guys are coming down for a nice safe splashdown. There's a smile. I saw Irvin. You hid the smile right away, but I saw it. And Harori is very happy. As you guys come down at 6.6 .6 meters per second at about 300 meters, we will let you guys get a nice splashdown here in your capsule. And then... While we send someone to rescue you, we're going to go back to the moon and do some exploring. Alright, now, uh, I will probably save exploring the moon for next episode. Uh, I'm not sure where we are, actually how long this mission has taken, so it may, it'll be two episodes probably at least. So this will be the end of episode two of our moon landing mission. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. We have now taken a huge step of landing a Kerbal on the moon. There is the splashdown. You guys can just bob there safely until we send someone to get you. Oh, this is awesome. Absolutely awesome. Hopefully you will join us next episode where Billy Bobbly is going to do some running around on the moon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.